I would like to introduce with pride the Herman Nelson 700,000 BTU flameless heater. Manufactured to our spec by Multitech North America of Prentice, Wisconsin, this appliance delivers 700,000 BTU with heat rise of over 200 degrees and air delivery of 5,000 cubic feet a minute with 5.5 inches of static pressure. The place to start is with a quick discussion of flameless heat. The principle is simple. simple. When, the in, when an engine is running, approximately one-third of the energy is lost to ambient air, one-third of the energy is lost to the cooling of the engine, and one-third of the energy is delivered to the drive of the engine. Using heat transfer technology, the heat from each of these three components is recovered. The cabinet is tightly sealed and insulated. When the heater is operational, it is almost impossible to open the large door due to back pressure. If you open the small viewing window, the outlet discharge temperature will fall rapidly and depending on ambient air temperature. In 30 seconds, the outlet temperature will fall up to 30 degrees. The engine coolant heat is extracted by the use of a heat exchanger. The flywheel end of the engine is used to power a special dynamic heat generator, rotational heat plate, which is essentially a shear. The shear's mobile hydraulic oil or synthetic, a synthetic ATF to create the heat. Starting at the bottom up, I'd like to acquaint you with the unit. The heater is 11 foot 4 long, 5 foot 8 wide, and 7 foot 8 tall. The appliance weighs 5,640 pounds dry and carries 150 gallons US of fuel which equates to 26 hours or 26 to 28 hours of running time at full load and adds about 1,500 pounds to the appliance when fully loaded. The heater we're showing you now is equipped with dual axles providing maximum towing stability while protecting your asset it rolls down the road as it rolls down the road. Remember, some of the gravel sight roads are none too friendly. From the bottom up, I would like you to note the gravel guard protection on the front of the fuel tank and on the fenders. The robust construction of the fenders provides a step for personnel to access the top of the appliance. The unit has a removable tongue for easier storage or a smaller footprint on the work site. The tank itself has secondary, secondary spill containment and is UN 31A certified. Starting in 2014, fleets in Canada will become very sensitive to this issue as you must integrate them. Please note the four tie-down hooks at the corners so that if ever the unit has to be flat deck or tailor transported, tie-downs are a non-issue. There are five jack points on the four corners of the unit and one on the tongue. This allows you to lift or level the unit any time or any place for any reason. The unit comes with a 2 and 5 16 inch tow ball setup and pintle hooks are an option. A cold weather wiring harness for this unit will be available with flexibility up to minus 50 as standard equipment starting in the 2014-2015 heating season. All heaters are electric brake equipped and tow friendly. Again, from personal experience, please adjust your tow speeds to road conditions, particularly on site access roads. The cabinet uses, utilizes return seam construction with, with a tough powder coat finish. All bolts above the trailer line are stainless steel, optional to uh, resist corrosion. While on the exterior of the heater, I would like to make note of four particular features. The emergency shutoff switch, the remote emergency shutoff switch, the cold weather preheat plug, and the external service drains for the heat reservoir and the engine oil. The cold weather preheat plug is a central connection for your three preheat systems. This particular unit is equipped with a block heater, oil pan heater, and a battery blanket. These systems are centrally wired to make the cold weather preheat a simple one-step task. 
Next season, watch for the fuel filter preheater so you always start with warm fuel. I have personal experience since minus 50, where a heater was left unattended for many days and was preheated for a successful start in only 45 minutes. While still on the exterior of the heater, please look up to the operational beacon. There, this is a three-way indicator. Green for operation, red for non-operation, non amber for low fuel. The low fuel indicator light can be set or adjusted at the master controller to strobe when fuel levels are 5 to 50% adjustable in increments of 5% at your pleasure. While still on top of the unit, you may or may not be able to see the lifting hook, but I've climbed up using the fenders as a step, and it is there, so if ever lifting the unit is a requirement, the hook is in place. The heated air exiting the heater is standard with a 16-inch discharge that is perpendicular to the heater, parallel to the ground. This, charge, this discharge can be adapted to 212s, 116, or 120. All of these configurations come in a parallel to ground or 45 degree to angle to ground configuration. Before leaving the exterior of the unit, I want to return to the front and point out the automated louver. This allows for the regulation of airflow and maintain out temp outlet temperature while the unit is unattended. I have two comments. When towing, please close and lock the louver to ensure not to compromise the effectiveness or damage the heat exchangers. You also may blow off the plastic cap at the back outlet. I only know this because I've done it. When putting the appliance back in service, be mindful to unlock the louver before going into automatic mode so you don't burn out the actuator. Now we have the privilege of opening the door to look inside the heater. Aside from the fit and finish, an obvious pride of manufacture, the first thing to notice is the way the master controller is mounted to swing out of the way for easy access to the entire unit. Be aware of the fact that the filters, engine oil, fuel, and the heat gen oil are all common wholesale parts available from your John Deere distributor or even Napa. Belts, hoses, and other consumables internal to this appliance are not proprietary and are easily accessible. Not only can you access the heat generator, but the entire operational system is easily accessible. The next thing to note is the master electrical shutoff switch. Once the power is on, you can turn on the interior light or go straight to engine startup. What in Please look over at the dual 150 cold cranking amp batteries compl provided, complete with a blanket and the upgraded high conductivity copper welding cable to get the cranking power from the batteries to the engine starter. As previously mentioned, this is part of our cold weather package that gets you and the heater up and running when you probably don't want to go outside. While looking in that direction, please note the fuel tank fill position. Located at the lower right corner of the battery, it is the fill point of the 150 gallon, 110% spill contained fuel tank. The heater is powered by a John Deere diesel that produces 99 horsepower at 2,400 RPM. This John Deere engine comes with a standard two year, 2,000 hour warranty that is upgradable to five years, 5,000 hours and can be used at any John Deere ag or construction dealer. The power is applied to an Island City heat generator, ceramic bearing equipped, and the heat is transferred by the use of a wide range of mobile hydraulic oil that will handle very cold temperatures as well as very high temperatures without breaking down, or a synthetic ATF and a heat converter to provide BTUs at the discharge outlet. The transfer fluid reservoir holds 24 gallons US that requires changing every 2,000 operational hours. The unit should have daily inspections at startup, oil and coolant levels, and requires service at 250 hour intervals. Please notice the very efficient purpose-built displacement fan that delivers high volume air at industry leading static pressure. The sound attenuating insulation helps maintain high temperatures for delivery to where the heat is needed and also maintains a comfortable noise level during 
unit operation. All hose clamps are T-bolt style with high track sealant versus the worm gear style that always seem to leak. This machine is designed and built to last far longer than others in the market and keep running day and night carefree with only normal maintenance. Remember, nothing runs like a deer. Now it is time to discuss the unit startup. Please close all cabinet doors, check to ensure the automated louver is unlocked and you're ready to go. First step is to turn the key to on and wait. The automated louver will whine at you for a couple of seconds while running through its setup procedures. When the sound ends, simply turn the key and you're ready to start. Both the startup and shutdown procedures are fully automated, so no other operator intervention is required. In theory, operator error is eliminated. The IC3D controller is user-friendly and programmable, just like your cell phone. By scrolling through the menu screen, you will find everything you need to operate the unit to your liking. Increase or decrease RPM in one touch of a bottom of a button for throttle setup. Display setup orientation of the screen is adjusted at the controller. Outlet temperature can be programmed automatically. The louver control is operated from the master controller. Don't forget to lock or unlock the louvers at the front of the unit. The louver control is operated from the master controller. Don't forget to lock or unlock the louvers at the front of the unit. The fuel level indicator can also be programmed from the controller. The range of notification can be set to inform you when you have 15% fuel, fuel on board or more at your pleasure. The unit is equipped with a low fuel cutoff so you will not be able to run the engine dry. At 5% fuel on board, it simply shuts down. Please consult your John Deere manual for particulars on engine operation and maintenance. Before leaving the master control area, please note the surplus power 12 volt direct current delivered at the bottom right hand corner of the panel. This will allow you power for diagnostics. You can plug in your laptop, your work light, or even charge your cell phone. I want you to come around to the other side of the unit now and we'll talk about the positive air shutoff that makes this unit BOP compliant. Please note the Roto Deco controller operated by the rev guard interfacing with the master controller to bring you the highest level of safety available. This feature along with the master shutdown switch makes this unit market leading safety smart. This concludes my video introduction to the BT700 flameless heater. I've got to have two points to address before I finish off. First and foremost, I'd like to thank the folks at Multitech for building such a fine heater and being such fine associates, in particular Doug Kemp, Mike Dunleavy, and all their support staff who's helped us get this heater to market. The next person I'd like to thank is you, the viewer, for taking the time to look at the heater and to think about it in its relative quality and the way it can serve you. The last thing I want to say, and I'm a salesman, is I want to encourage you to call us up, ask questions, and ultimately, by the heater. Thanks a lot.